We magnify your name. Jesus. Lebro de baratu se kabale adaba. Rose kabale atu se kabale adaba leba. O reni mashanda bale adaba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and give God praise. I said lift up your hands. Let your hands not be too heavy for God. Magnify him for his good hand on your life. I'm making you to see today the first Sunday in school in Covenant University Chapel. He has been your help. I'm alive today. Because God kept me. Why I sing the song? I'm alive today only because of His grace. Come on, did He keep you? He kept me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. God kept me. Lord, you oh, yeah, He kept me. me. Lord, we have begun yet again 
by your good hand and by your help. You kept us, you kept your children, you took them to their various homes and brought them back. You kept those of us here present by your good hand of grace. Lord, not by power, nor by mind, but by your spirit. We ask for your help all through this semester and in every service. Lord, let your word reach out unto your children. Let there be deliverances and healings. Let there be transformation in every life. Lord, let not one go back the same. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me hear a resounding amen. amen. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me hear your responses. I have dominion and I take dominion. Congratulations. Put your hands together for Jesus. You may take your seat. This morning, very quickly, I bring you the word of the Lord. Remember, the 21 days fasting and prayer began on Monday. Why some of us are just resuming, some of us resumed in the course of the week, we are not still balanced in it. While some of us are aware of the 21 days fasting and prayer, maybe some of us are not aware. I don't know because there is no Covenant University student who will not know that in January, I'm talking to three to 500 level students. If I'm talking to 100 level, I can say yes. Maybe some of them do not know. But for three to 500 level, you have, must have been exercising yourself. But there are some that need understanding. And that's why this message is coming very quickly, maximizing the blessedness of fasting and prayer. You need to maximize it. That young lady maximized it. She asked of the Lord, and she said she had an encounter with God. May you have such encounters. Amen. Let me hear your believing amen, please. Amen. I said, may you have such encounters. Amen. Every time I hear a teenager, a young man, a young woman who says, I encounter God. It sweetens my heart because I know my own encounters to have brought me to where I am. That you had God, God told me. Now, can you imagine? For her having had God and there is nothing in her life she will ever come across again. She will not be able to ask questions. Lord, what must I do? And that's the secret. In fact, God's servant was sharing this with us yesterday at the pastor's prayer meeting for Sunday service. He said, don't just be, don't just be making noise. Ask God, what must I do? What, where do I go? There's a song that says, what must I do? What step should I take? What move should I make? Oh, Lord, what must I do? What must you do? Where do you go? God's commandments are ordained for profiting. And you should know that. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 to 17. All scriptures are given by inspiration of God. And is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished, unto all good works. Every instruction is profitable. So the instruction of fasting and prayer is profitable. 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 Remember in 1 John chapter 5 and in verse 3, scripture says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Come on, say, his commandments are not grievous. Let me hear you say, his commandments are not grievous. Now understand, that fasting is commanded for specific benefits. As contained in it, fasting, specific benefits. Don't forget, in Matthew chapter 17 and in verse 21, the disciples were asking Jesus, why were we not able to cast out this demon? And then in verse 21, he said, he said how be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. There are certain things that need, you need to deal with young men and women. Certain things you need to deal with in your life. Fasting, 
Prayer. You require it. Like I said, those who come to prayer come to the place of the help of God. And this is the time. He said it's good for a man to bear his body when he is young. He's 17, he's 18, he's 19. This is the time to bear the bodies. This is the time to understand the place of God. This is the time to hear the voice of God. This is the time to set the pace for a fruitful, advancing life. It's the time. Why some people are still playing away? Playing away their lives. His commandments are not grievous. Fasting is commanded for specific benefit as contained. We saw in, in, Psalm, um, in Isaiah chapter 58 and from verse 6. Is this not the fast that I have ordained? What is it to do? They have chosen, he said, to lose the band of wickedness. Which wickedness has been against you? To lose the band of wickedness. Wickedness is real. Oppression is real. But more real is our faith. Wickedness is real. Many of you that are here, the occurrences in your home is a function of wickedness of the devil against your family. But you won't wake up to take responsibility. Daddy or mommy has been fighting it, but daughter or son is just out there. All my own is that they pay my school fees and he comes to school to come and still play. Like I told some yesterday, I said, listen to me, you better forget everything that is happening in your home. What do you mean? Pray concerning it. I didn't say, but don't bother your head. Okay, if your parents have paid your school fees to be in school, then you now use the burden of what is happening at home to now destroy your results. Then you will make them more unhappy. If the only joy they have is that you are in school, and they have made the sacrifice to be in school. Give them joy by giving them the food of a good result. A wise son and daughter make the father glad. A wise son and a wise daughter make the father glad. I pray that every wickedness that may be against anyone here, these 21 days fasting and prayer, seven days have already gone, this is the eighth day. I pray that every one of us, the wickedness against your life and family shall be destroyed. Oh, your amen is very weak. Let me hear your resounding amen. amen. You know what amen means? So shall it be. So, band of wickedness. What did he say? Not only band of wickedness. He said, to undo the heavy burden. Somebody said the burden on my in my head now is just very witty. You don't know. Heavy bodies. And the enemy can place bodies on people. Heavy bodies. You see young men and women, for you to come inside this chapel and be sleeping is an error. Then the enemy must have put bodies on your head. What do you want? I was telling some young men one with the, I said, some of you, you better be awake. Okay, you can't come from covenant hour of prayer. Good luck. But very soon, 500 level, 400 level student, you will stay in Yanokwaja and walk in VI. Let me see where you, when, when you wake up. Let me see when you will wake up. Covenant University student, you go to chapel, I will go to office, and excuse me, sir, I'm very sorry I came late today. It's because um, there was so much traffic on the way. Okay, God bless you. Welcome. They will greet you welcome the first time. Let me greet you welcome the second time. The third time, excuse me. There are better people who are looking for the same jobs. If you like, don't wake up by 3 a.m. and be out of that house by 4 a.m. And tell me how you will get to VI from Yanokwaja. Abi? Okay, or some people want to walk in Le or live in Lekki and walk in VI. How many wants to do that? Oh, story. <laughs> story. Before you get a house in Lekki, go and ask how much they are renting a house there. Except you are still in your father's house, eating your father's food. And you will be, you know, there's none of you like that. None of you like that. Irresponsible. After graduating here, you should check out of your father's house. If I have their number, I'll tell them to push you out. And go and fend for yourself. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, listen. Band of wickedness, undo the heavenly body and let the oppressed go free. 
I decree today that every oppression over your destiny, that oppression will be destroyed. And that ye break every yoke. That is the essence of the fasting. He said to deal, is it not to deal thy bread unto the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out into thy house. He said when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from their own flesh. That's another thing there. Don't hide yourself. In the place of fasting and prayer, God tells you the truth. You know when Chaplin talks or when anybody talks to you or when your parents come, they tell you, Jade Sola, this your attitude is a very bad one. <laughs> a man will not accept this kind of attitude. Hey, no, 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 mommy, what is it? But it's because, it's because, it's because, uh, be doing because, because. Because, because. The young man, this attitude is not good. Eh? Because, 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 eh, I don't have time. Because, because, because. Some irresponsible steps. Can't help the parent to do anything. He's always ganging hand and painting finger. Okay. Let's see how much finger you paint with three children and four children. As God blesses you with them. <laughs> ah, there be some of you. You don't worry. All the things you are complaining about, you will soon enter it now. But I pray that everyone here under the sound of my voice, by the help of Jehovah God, I have vowed to God that everything that God wants you to hear and to know on this altar of grace will be released to your life. Then, the question is that, it's your choice. This is life, this is causes. This is blessing, this is causes. Choose. But I pray you will make good choices. Among the benefits of fasting and prayer, we must understand, is fulfillment of prophecy. Because every good word of the Lord has been speaking to us, God wants those prophecies to be fulfilled. Therefore, we must beware of selling our birthright on to the belly like Esau. Hey, I can't fast. Esau was just taken by appetite. And one appetite just destroyed his destiny. But I pray that no one's appetite will destroy him here. So listen to me. The first seven days have passed. Maybe you were not involved. But I'm admonishing you. It's not compulsory, but I need to encourage you. Get yourself in order. Build yourself now. Do the things that is required of you now. 14 days, they are about left. Get online. Today is Sunday. Somebody is not looking. You are closing the service by 8 o'clock. They are about now. You get out there and get yourself. Get your Bible. Get your book. Begin to ask the Lord questions. Get to the HOD ground there and begin to pray. All through today, make investment. Some people don't know how to make investment in their life. Academics pressure is not on now. You are not under any tension. Can't you invest that time? Solidly every second of this time into the things of the spirit. When you sow of the, into the spirit, you reap eternal life. Just put it there. The fasting, the prayer, the work, put it there. Don't sell your birthright to a morsel of bread. We must not allow our belly to become our God. Fasting, spiritually, expedite answers to prayer. That is everything that prayer does is what fasting facilitates. Understand it. We must also remember that it is prayer that gives value to our fasting. So if you fast and you are not praying, then you are just on a hunger strike or a dieting. And I don't think anyone wants to diet here, although there might be one of you, one or two of you may want to diet for excess weight. Because some of you are overweight at your age. By the time you are 30, 25, or whatever, you may have been dangerously. So there's an appropriate weight. But that's not fasting, it's not the one to reduce weight. You are having a spiritual exercise that will bring about a change in your life. So, the question is this. What is the profitable approach to fasting and prayer? Let me outline some few things just before we close. What is the profitable approach? Come on, say profitable approach. Say it one more time. Profitable approach. So, how do I profitably approach this fasting and prayer? Number one, 
Define your goals and objectives. Define your goals and objectives. There must be goals and objectives. This is my 2019 or 2018 goals and objectives. Number one, on this side is my Shiloh expectation. Shiloh. I wrote Shiloh. I usually have two. One for the church I pastor and one for myself. So I have four points for myself as my Shiloh expectation prayer. And I have another five points for the church. Then, coming to 21 days fasting and prayer, I usually put it on the same page so that I can know on the church, I have four points. On my personal, I have seven points. Set goals. What is the goal and objective of the fasting and prayer? Shiloh expectation is there. 21 days fasting and prayer is there. This is my... Well, and God did his work. My prayers were answered. Answered. I told God. I said, here, yeah, I said, I said, Lord, for our 30 years of our work with you, let our light break out from obscurity. That was one of my prayers. And it's obvious to you and me that the light has broke out of obscurity. It was a prayer. And the prayer answered. And many other things, many other things, and many other things. The station I pastor, I had a desire. There was a, a particular desire we had. There was a land, that property that was very close. We were trusting God. I wrote here, number one, enlarge the coast of LFC Wasota. Must be enlarged. The proposed land to be purchased. That was my prayer in 2018. And also fasting and prayer. Today, that church has purchased that land. They purchased it in December. The land that the church requires. It was purchased. Answered prayer. Answered prayer. Most of the time you are on, a, on a, what do you call it now? When we are on the screen, you always see Living Faith Church in Wasota. Living, it's not the main church in Benin, but it's always flashing. <laughs> always flashing. I prayed one prayer that that church, the hand of God will come upon it. And truly, it has come. It has come on it. So God answers prayer, but there must be objective. So if you are just there, what is the objective of the fasting and prayer? What are you praying for? Write them down. Many of you, some of you have come to my office. I will show you notes of 1993. In fact, the first message that God served and preached when I joined this commission, I can still show you the notes. All the things I was telling God in 1995, 1996, 1990, whatever, I kept writing down. Please write down. There must be objectives. There must be goals. What do you want to attain? What do you want to achieve? What is God telling you now? Because there are some things God will tell you in this fasting and prayer. It will take the next 25 years to be fulfilled. I told you and me that my being in Covenant University is a divine agenda because of what God told me before now. So I'm in the center of divine purpose. I'm not here to play joker with anything. I'm in the center of divine will. You didn't come here to play. I pray that in this fasting and prayer, every goal and objective, God will cause you to accomplish them in the name of Jesus. Define goals. Look at Ezra and in chapter 8, just to buttress that. He said, then I proclaim, Ezra 8, 21. He said, then I proclaim a fast there at the river of Hahava that we might afflict ourselves before our God. Why? To seek him the right way for us. Yes? Can we continue the reading? And for who? For who? And for what? Right way. Just like that young lady prayed. Right way for us to go. Not only for us. Hmm. For our little ones. Not for our little ones. For our business. For our academics. Right way to go. I pray in this fasting and prayer, everyone under the sound of my voice, you will know the right way to go. I didn't hear your believing amen. So get back to the drawing board and begin to write. You don't need to write 10 prayer points, 15 prayer points, just two, just one, just three. 
Maybe somebody's prayer is just, Lord, sanctify my life. Lord, make me to be holy. That do every, you just write this. You don't need to be writing. Some people, when they say prayer point expectation, they will write long list. Of what? There are the things that matter. Like a man of God said, there's what is called destiny decisions. There is one decision you will make that will decide ten other things. So why don't you know what is the right thing to do? God's servant said yesterday, when he asked the Lord, what must I do because causing this agenda of growth for the year? And God said, only believe. And when he said, oh, only believe. Okay, how do I know that I believe? Shh, the next thing. So only, the answer was only believe. Believe that I can do it. But there are things that you must do to show that, I, that you believe. Number one, if you believe, whatever I tell you to do, you will do it. So it means that you believe. And the instructions came. Instructions came. I pray that everyone on that side of, of my voice, you will hear the bidding of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. So remember, define your goals and objectives. Let me tell your neighbor, define your goals and objectives. Number two. Is prepare to engage your heart to seek the Lord. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 1. What did he say? The preparation of the heart in man. The answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Don't just go casually anyhow, do anything anyhow. Prepare, prepare. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your heart. All your what? All your what? In 2 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 6, it was said of Jotham. Jotham became mighty because he prepared his way before the Lord is God. I pray that everyone will be properly prepared. You are also in it. Maybe some of you, why am I putting this way? Because some of you, you didn't do anything last week. Or maybe all you did last week was just anyhow, anyway. But this week, put yourself in order. It's not the length. Maybe you fasted the 21 days. Maybe for some of you, it's the next 14 days you are going to do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. And you'll see the blessings of God. God's servant told us, he said, every of these days, break them to three, three days. <coughs> so 21 days can be seven different days. Three, three days of impact. That is, this prayer point, I'll take it for these three days. This prayer point, I'll take it for these three days. And that's all. You see the help of God. Can I hear an amen there? Number three, refuse to be offended in God or in man. It's important. So your prayers will not be blocked. Isaiah chapter 58 and in verse 9. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, and put forth thy finger, and speak in vanity. So ensure that every form of offense. Matthew chapter 11 and in verse 6, Scripture said, And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Come on, say, I won't take any offense. In man or in God. Come on, say, I won't take any offense. In man or in God. The next point, we must come confessing and forsaking our sins. Come confessing and forsaking our sins. He said in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither is he as heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquity has separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Don't forget the psalmist said in Psalm 66 and in verse 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But God knows you better. He knows the secret of your heart. And that's why this is a day of repentance where a covenant opportunity is given for a lot of us, every one of us here, to reposition in Christ. Maybe God has told someone, listen, the secret to your change and the help of God for you 
a young man told me, or I think it was three, five hundred level. Oh, he said, I've been applying for so an international scholarship and things was not going right and all that. He's a brilliant student, but I, I told him quite clearly, you know what? Get God along with you. There are so many engineering students now who are too pompous. They are excellent in their academics, but they have kept God outside. And that is why there have been so many lack. Favors that need to reach them is not reaching them. But put God. Maybe this is your final semester and you have never stepped to say, Jesus, help me. This is a covenant opportunity to make it right with God. This is a covenant opportunity. He knows the iniquity of your heart. This is your covenant opportunity to make it right with God. I pray that someone will make it right with God today and God will turn around your life in Jesus' name. Did I hear believing believing amen? Let your amen be sound and it will be well. Amen. What is the blessedness of fasting? What does it do? Number one, fasting facilitates the deliverance from evil, unwanted habits, addiction, sin that easily besets. As simple as fasting is, it's a design to constrain. Those who cannot fast do not have ability to constrain. Ha, I cannot fast, I cannot fast, I cannot fast. And somebody will say, eh, eh, I have ulcer. What kind of nonsense ulcer is that one? And the devil is the one telling you of ulcer. It's not as if there is anything. And some of you, it's because of your ulcer is also generated by wrong eating. Somebody is fasting, then he will go and break with very cold Coca-Cola. Ha! Acid inside your stomach that was empty. That can cause trouble. Many of you don't know how to break fast because when you just finish, I've finished fasting now. Biah! He has gone very cold coke, cold seven up, acidic things. Your stomach is, hey. Then your stomach will now start doing all the problem. You are the one that caused it. You know how to eat right. There are certain things to take in a fast. And put it right. Some of you, it wasn't as if you were even fasting. It's just that every time you have not eaten for a long time, you eat wrong things. Ask question. Find out. Every sin, those who fast have a sign of constraint. You can constrain yourself. There are many now. Pornography is always, like I said, in the chaplain city. Some people, all their eyes, some young men, yes, girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. I saw one yesterday, 500 level, I've son with 100 level girl. Ah. 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 I've taken their names. You know, now if I catch you peering, I will collect your names. Just watch. If you like, be dodging me, I will still find you. I told the 100 level student, eh, hey, you are the chicken they want to roast, I think. 500 level with 100 level. I'm going to check their result today. I've told them to come and see me. So I can, you know, I can't flog you, but there are a few things I can do to your life. You will write undertaking, you will read book, you will go for prayer. You miss any prayer of covenant hour from now to the end. You will see my red eye. Everything that will make you advance, I will do it by the grace of God. 100 level, 500 level. What are you doing with it? And some people say, eh, I want to mentor. Mentor, okay. <laughs> you know, I've canceled in chaplains your kind of nonsense mentoring. Eh, so senior student mentoring. Girls should mentor girls. Boys should mentor boys. Hello? By the time you are now a young 500 student and is now mentoring a 100 level, ah, 100 level student. Wrong. I've canceled all that now. And in case you have not canceled it, you are hearing me now. 500 level, 300 level, 400 level. Don't mentor anyone in 100 level. Leave them alone. Especially when they are the opposite sex. If you want to marry wife, we'll introduce you to who to marry. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll handle marriage matters. And some of you, what marriage are you thinking of? You are just 19, 20, and all that. We'll tell you one or two informations. But some of you, that is what is inside your head. That's why somebody can come inside chapel and is relaxed. Let me catch somebody again. 
Can clearly just catch you. 100 level, 200 level, doesn't have anything inside the head. Result is the matter now. Spirituality and result. You know, this thing makes me excited that all the escorts here, excellent. Fervent young men and women. I'm glad. It gives me a mouth. That is why I'm talking this way. Let me catch you that you are not in chaplaincy, you are not fervent in the spirit and you are failing. Then you will tell me where you, your own is. Come here and just be wasting your parents' resources. The talking story is there. Praise the Lord. Well, if you don't like me, you'll like me by force. If you don't, don't like me, that is it. I'm a compulsory cause for you this season. If you like, pray. God will not answer your prayer. If, if somebody says, don't worry, chaplain may soon go. That's your problem. If God says, I'm going, I'm going. If God says, I'm not going anywhere, I'll stay with you. Yeah. The ones who are going, they are going. The Cyrus student, they will come back. Whatever God says is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, don't trouble yourself. <laughs> Just follow God. Let me tap your neighbor. Follow God. <laughs> Number two, facilitate answer to prayer, every fast. It facilitates answer to prayer. Not only that, number three, secures favor from God. Oh, I like this one. I pray that through this fasting and prayer, favor will reach you, sir. Ah, uh, your women is too weak. I said favor will reach you. There are many who need the favor of God. Your parents need the favor. You need the favor. Many are in school now, like I'm talking, maybe just with 2,000 naira. The next meal, they don't know how they are going to take it. But there are some of you who your accounts are already loaded. Even though you didn't do very well, but your good parents, always expecting, and all your nonsense promise, don't worry, daddy, this time I'm going to do well. <laughs> and we call them to tell them you are not doing well at all. At all, doing well. They shouldn't give you any money. All the money, they cut it into half. Your parents, you have used them enough. Some of them say, oh, daddy, he said, he said. Even some of you will even lie. Lie now. You know biometrics is here. You miss chapel. Then biometrics will pick you up. Today's service now, as we finish now, we'll calculate the biometrics fast, fast, fast. Now, your name is not inside. It's already published. Then tomorrow you appear here. Eh, eh, my ID card has problem. Story. Let your finger has problem. <laughs> So, wake up. You need the favor of God. Get online and get the favor of God. And put it in place. Stop saying one nonsense excuse everywhere. Raise your right hand and say, Lord, favor me. I pray that this semester God will favor you. Finally, every fasting empowers the fulfillment of prophecy. What did he say? Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 18. This child I commit unto thee, son, Timothy, according to the prophecy which went on before thee, that thou mayest war a good warfare. That's what it is. The prophecy has gone. I have dominion. Things have been dominating you. Prophecy, I have dominion. Some of you now, let me say this. I, I, I said yes, Holy Ghost, thank you. I was going to say this here. There are some of you. You must have dominion. Don't let people dominate you. How do I mean? A lot of people have been reshuffled in their rooms now. New colleagues, new friends in the room. But some people will not wake up. They are always dominated by other people. New friends have come in now. She or he used to come to chapel and come to covenant tower of prayer. But suddenly, he's the only one amidst the other three or four individuals in the room who comes for covenant tower of prayer. So the first day he came, they said, oh boy, you said they go prayer. What did they go do there? Don't mind chaplain, I beg, forget that matter. And suddenly, because he doesn't know how to stand for Christ, he's already blending in instead of standing out. The young lady that just came to school, last semester she was fervent in the spirit. The wrong roommates that have just been allocated to her, all because God wants to test her true faith. When she was with some people are just like chameleon. When they are inside green, they are greening. When it's red, they are red. When it's blue, they are blue. Every time you can't stand out. Excuse me, I'm going for prayer. They say we are not going. Pray for all of them. Anoint their bed. <laughs> oh God, I am going to rescue everybody in this room. That's dominion. That's dominion. 
But some people have been dominated all their lives. You see some ladies now, yeah, she wasn't so conscious about makeups and all the rest before. But she comes to her room, oh, you are so dry and you are not social. I say, oh, okay. Please, can I have your mascara? So instead of reading book and reading Bible, she uses another 20 minutes to be putting mascara on the face. She's blending in instead of standing out. But I pray this year, everywhere you stand, you will stand as a light. Yeah. Did I hear? Believe in amen there. Yeah. Some young men, he doesn't know how to gamble before, but some nonsense boys that they just put now, he just looks at their iPod. What do they do, sir? Say, ah, oh boy, you never savvy. This thing, if you click it, I'll be master for this one. See the 20,000 where I just get. He said, hey, who? 20,000. <laughs> Alarm has ring in his ears. Okay, how much did it take to him? He said, start with 500 first. And maybe, poo, 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 poo. before they know it, they are introducing him to gambling. Very soon, we'll start checking your iPod for that. Ah, uh, wait, you never savvy anything. Some of you are dangerously in gambling. And it's taking away, every time you're asking, what is he using money for? The spirit of gambling has taken over his life. Very silent killer. But for you, prophecy will be fulfilled in your life. Listen to me. Build your prayer life. Because without prayer, you cannot see the glory of God. Well, this is the submission this morning. Your prayer and fasting cannot be effective until you are connected to God. Quite importantly, this morning I've spoken what the Holy Ghost has placed in my heart. Young men and women, over to you. Make these 14 days left in this fasting and prayer eventful, profitable, advancing. But maybe just like we said, the psalmist said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Today is fasting. You are to break at your various hostels at, your, at the time, at the end of the fast. We are not having any gathering. But utilize this day. Let it be a blessing. But may there are many of you who need to reposition with Christ. And this morning, while we are going to rise up, please rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. In honor of Jesus, rise up on your feet. Rise, 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 rise. Rise on your feet. Rise on your feet. Praise the Lord. I want you to bow your heads, please. Before Jesus, before the King of Kings. You are dead this morning. He said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, please bow your heads. I said, bow your head. I didn't say, look at me. Some people, they would tell them instruction, bow. Bow your heads and pray. Lord, I need your help. There are so many individuals who are here this morning. Jesus has been speaking to you. Maybe he spoke to you even before you came to school. Just like that young girl asked, what must I do? And Jesus said, listen, I want you to rededicate your life. I want you to give your life to Christ. There are individuals who want to say, Jesus, come into my life this morning. You desire a change. Enough of the struggles. You have struggled so much and nothing is happening. But this morning, Jesus wants to do you good. I want everyone to begin to lift up their voices to pray and acts of the mercy of God, the help of God. Father, I wasn't subscribing to this fasting and prayer, but I will do so now. Lift up your voice as you pray. You want to give your life to Christ or rededicate your life to Christ, raise your hand to Jesus wherever you are.